Sarah, are you on a business trip again today? You've been married for 12 years and still don't want to quit your job. Are you talking about that again? Can you please stop sending the same message on my lunch break? I don't want to spend my break time texting you. I need to have some lunch now. We live next door, so we can talk after I get home. I need to get back to work now. I'm telling you to quit your job already. You are making little money anyway. Your work will be fine without you. And above all, you can't get pregnant because you're still working. You are already in your 30s. You're getting older. You need to have a baby soon. I want you to quit your job. I understand what you are saying. If I quit my job, Eric and I won't be able to make a decent living. We won't be able to afford to have a baby, and I can't quit my job so early either. Well, look what you're saying. You still insist that you can't live on Eric's earnings alone. We've been having this same conversation repeatedly, and you're right. That can't be true. Oh my god, I really don't know why my son married to a woman like you. You didn't even believe me after I showed you my paycheck. Huh? I'm going to run out of time to have lunch. So if you'll excuse me now. Hey, Sarah. Did you say some terrible things to my mom? Terrible things? Like how you don't want to deal with her during your lunch break? I heard you were rude to my mom for sticking up for me. She's your mother too. You need to take better care of her. Respect her more. Wow, is that what she said to you? It sounds like everything is my fault. I'm the terrible one. What? It can't be my mother's fault. Okay, okay. That's enough. I've done well for 12 years, right? Huh? What are you talking about? Never mind. I'm at a hotel. Reconfirming some documents I need tomorrow. I will let you go now. Hey, I'm not done talking with you. Sarah, I heard you're on a business trip again today. Yes, I am. You're coming back the day after tomorrow, right? Yes. Is there any possibility of a change of plans? Well, that depends on the situation, but I don't think so. Why? Nothing. Just checking. Okay. Okay then. Eric, what's going on? Huh? I just came back from a business trip. All the things in the house, furniture, and dishes are gone. And there's a divorce paper on the floor of the living room. What's this? As you can see, I'm divorcing you. My mom and I decided to move out. Did you do that on purpose? You know it's our 12th wedding anniversary, right? Yes, I do. Being asked for a divorce on your wedding anniversary is so hilarious. That's not really an explanation. So you're saying that your mom agrees with your divorce? That's what I meant. That's right, I get it. But you'll still have to fulfill the responsibility of a divorce. Responsibilities? Oh, you mean the divorce papers. What are you in such a hurry for? The divorce papers are filled out. All I have to do is fill them out, send them in, and that's it. I fulfilled my last responsibility as your husband. You should check it before you start accusing me, okay? Let me ask you something. What? 
What are you going to do about living expenses from now on? Huh? Your mom doesn't work. You're going to support her with your earnings. What do you think about that? Of course I'm thinking about it. My mom and I have my father's inheritance. We will be fine. Okay, I get it. Are you sure you want me to file for divorce? Yes, as soon as possible. I'll think about it. Sarah, you are home, right? We are done with you. You and Eric will be divorced. Now it's you. What? Eric texted me a while ago about the divorce and moving out. Oh, I didn't know. Then there is only one thing I can say. I want to have my grandchildren as soon as possible. The best thing is to get rid of you for my new daughter in law. A new daughter in law? Didn't Eric tell you that? Martha is pregnant with Eric's child. And he wants to marry her before the baby is born. Huh? I see. Uh, I'd like to ask you something. What? What are your plans for living expenses from now on? What? If he divorces me, he can no longer rely on my salary. I don't know if the new daughter in law, but I had her resign so she could start a family. I see. Four of you will live with Eric's salary alone. Yes, that's right. Are you sure you can handle it? Of course, we'll be fine. After all, Eric's monthly income is double yours. We are fine. No problems at all. Excuse me? Eric only makes a little money. What are you talking about? The paycheck you showed me was about $3,000 a month. So Eric's must be around $6,000. That's the opposite. Opposite? I make twice as much as Eric. What? Let me put it simply. It is correct that my take home pay is $3,000. Eric earns about half of that, which means $1,500 a month. Huh? Didn't you notice that when we were living next door? s Your son has been moving from job to job. In the 12 years since he married me, he has left and changed jobs seven times. Seven times? The longest one lasted a little over three years. He leaves after about a year or two. How can he have much salary? That's why they were living on my salary. Why didn't you tell me earlier? Eric said he would tell you himself, so I kept out of it. Ah,、uh, wait a minute. If that's true, why would Eric divorce you? He has a pregnant girlfriend, but he should have thought about it too. According to Eric's message earlier, he said you guys are fine with the inheritance. Huh? Inheritance? There's no such thing from the beginning. I'm sure that's true. Your husband was a big spender. Anyway, why don't you and Eric talk about it? Apparently, you and your son overestimated each other. You two need to improve in the crucial discussion. Hi, Sarah. I'll give you a chance. What? Did you discuss it with your mom? Yes, I did. I'll tell you now. No, I don't really care. I'll tell you the only way you can get back with me. You're going to give everything you make to me and my mom. From now on, my mom and I will be in charge of the household finances. I'll give you $100 as a monthly allowance, and you'll make do with that. 
If you agree to these terms, you won't get divorced. Huh, I see. If you want to stay with me, you will have to put up with being an ATM. I don't, and I'm moving to LA. Huh? LA? My company wants to promote me to director in the LA office. First, I was not sure, but since you moved out and want a divorce, I've made up my mind. Huh? I accepted the offer today and moving to LA next week. What? I think I will be there for a long time. I'll enjoy my single life in LA. Did you turn in the paper already? Yeah, I stopped by the city office this morning before work. No way! I won't get my father's inheritance, which I was counting on. How am I supposed to live with my mom? Oh, that's right. I'm going to charge you compensation. Huh? Why? I know you thought you were hiding it from me, but I've been aware of it for a long time. And I've been gathering evidence. And your mom brought up your affair yesterday. Martha, right? What? You two should work better together. I mean... I'm laughing now. I've asked my lawyer to take care of everything else. We're strangers now. Sarah! Sarah, I got certified mail. How do you know where we live? Your husband's brother manages the house, right? Huh? He told me you and Eric are living there without permission. He complained to me. What? I told him what had happened, and he agreed to cooperate with me until the matter was settled. Until things are over? I'm talking about the certified mail you received. Let me put it simply. I'm demanding complete payment for Eric's infidelity. Payment? Eric cheated on me. I have the right to demand it. And I've already received compensation from Eric's girlfriend. What? Eric told her about the inheritance and had a relationship with her. Her pregnancy was a lie. After she found out about Eric's financial situation, she left him. Pregnancy is a lie? Then my grandchildren... I don't think so. Huh? Sarah? You can get back together with Eric. I don't want to. I'm going to LA. LA? Hasn't he told you yet? You guys need to communicate. What should we do then? Ask your son. Sarah, please. Goodbye. That's what happened. Now I've been working in LA under the sunny sunshine. My parents decided to sell their house in New York and move to LA with me. My company has arranged housing for them, and we are living there temporarily. The other day, Eric and his mom visited my parents' old house in New York. They wanted me to pay back the compensation because they could no longer live on their debts. They destroyed the yard and broke a window to get inside, and someone called the police. The property owner charged them a lot of money. They ended up increasing the amount of money they had to pay. Now, they are both cut off from all relatives and working hard to pay off their debts. Sophia, did you and Kyle fight again? Kyle's back at our house. You must have yelled at him again. A woman yelling at a man is so immodest. I'm sorry, mother-in-law. Sorry for bothering you. Kyle's back at your place again, huh? He must be feeling uncomfortable staying with you. You know, you're picking a fight with your husband who's working so hard at work. 
You're the only wife who would make her husband go back to his parents' house so many times. I'd like to know how your parents had raised you. Why don't you apologize and ask him to forgive you? No, I didn't pick a fight with him this time either. Kyle spent all his money on gambling and drinking, and he came home with some girl he flirted. He tried to make out with her in front of me, so that's why I got mad. He was the one who picked the fight. You're complaining about that again. What does it matter what Kyle does with the money he earns? He works every day, so let him do whatever he wants, so that he can take a break. If it's just for taking a break, I won't complain. Besides, a good provider always cheats. You should just stay calm as the wife. A good woman should be able to forgive one or two concubines. You're making a fuss about it with an ugly jealousy. You're a woman of small caliber. A concubine? This isn't ancient times, you know. And this is his third time. What if he gets some woman pregnant? Oh, that would be so lucky. Then he'll get divorced from you, and he'll marry to a woman who can give birth to my grandchildren. You've been married for two years and won't get pregnant. A mistress is more useful if she's pregnant. That's such an awful thing to say. We've only been married for two years. I can't even think of having children right now. Don't talk back to me. You don't even work. You rely on your husband's salary. A housewife who can't have children. You're nothing but a parasite, a money-grubbing parasite. A parasite? That's right. You're being supported by Kyle. You should know yourself. Um. I'll let Kyle stay at my house for today. You need to apologize to him. It's the end of you if he leaves you. Yes, I understand. Hello, mother-in-law. I'm home now. Ah, Sophia, welcome home. How was your one-night trip? Did you have fun? Yes, I actually did. You suddenly gave me money and told me to go on a trip, and I was surprised to be kicked out with my luggage. But I've had a reasonably relaxing time. I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad I was able to come up with the money for you. Anyways, the house is empty, and there are divorce papers in the living room. What's this all about? It's nothing to be surprised about. He moved out. What? Moved out? What do you mean? Don't you understand? You know, Kyle left you. What? Actually, a week ago, a young lady who was dating Kyle came to my house. She said she was pregnant with Kyle's child. If my son's girlfriend has a baby, I don't need you. So my son is leaving you and getting a new wife. The new girl has a good job and is independent. She's so much better than you, who's a parasite. So you're saying, he's divorcing me because he's having a baby with the woman he cheated on me with? So he moved out while I was on vacation? That's right. I didn't want you to cling to my son and beg him not to leave. So I kicked you out in the name of traveling, and Kyle moved out of the house while you were gone. I moved into his new house as well. You didn't want to move in with me, but the new girl was more than happy to live with me. I see. Now I get it. Yes, that's right. I don't need a parasite like you who depends on Kyle's money. Instead, a young, pretty, and capable bride is coming with my future grandchild. Get out of here, you useless parasite! I understand. I'm fine with that. I'll leave. I'll file for divorce immediately. Thank you for all you've done for me. Really, this whole time we've spent together with you, Kyle and I have wasted our precious time and money. I'd like you to pay me back if possible.
But I'm not that evil, so I forgive you. It's a mercy for you, who's going to be a miserable poor person from now on. So don't ever come see us again, okay? We don't know you anymore. Get lost. Hey, Sophia! Pick up! Oh, hello, Tracy. Can I help you? I'm actually pretty busy, you know. You? How much trouble do you want to cause us? You stole Kyle's money. Give it back, you thief. Don't you forget how much you owe Kyle, you ungrateful bastard. Excuse me? What are you talking about? Don't play dumb with me. I went to the bank to withdraw some money, and the balance was almost zero. You're the one who stole it. That's a false accusation. Kyle and I had completely separate bank accounts, and I don't know the PIN number of Kyle's bank account. You liar! As soon as I told the girl we didn't have any money, she left us. She said she didn't think we were so poor or something like that. Who's the girl? Oh, Kyle's new girl. At the end, she said that the baby wasn't actually Kyle's. I can't believe it. That slut cheated on us. Wow, what a story! What's more, Kyle had other girlfriends in the past who were married or engaged at that time, and their partners suddenly accused Kyle for messing around with their partners, and they're demanding compensation. Ah,、oh, that's terrible! I spent all my money on moving, so I don't have any money either. I'm going bankrupt like this. I want my stolen money back now. I can sue you if that's what you want. I'm telling you, I didn't steal it. You can't steal money from an account that has a zero balance to begin with. What? What do you mean by that? Huh? Don't you get it? He drank alcohol every day, spent tens of thousands of dollars on gambling, and he also spends a lot of money on all kinds of girls. Do you think he'll have any money left over? He doesn't even earn more than fifteen hundred dollars a month. Really? That's a lie. There's no way Kyle's salary is that low. What? You didn't know? Have you never seen his pay stub? No, but. But if that's the case, then how have you been making a living? You can't even pay the rent for your house with that kind of pay. How did he make a living with a full-time housewife? Where did the money come from? From my income. What? Well, technically, I wasn't a full-time housewife. I was working at home to earn money. What? The company I resigned from when I got married. Actually, I pretended to have resigned and kept working. The company didn't want me to quit, so they asked me to continue working. I was working remotely during the day when Kyle wasn't around. That's why we were able to live without Kyle's money. Hey, why didn't you tell me that? How can I tell you? You don't know why I decided to leave the company. It's because your son caused me so much trouble. He made prank phone calls to the company and left rude comments on our website. He stormed directly into the company, tried to riot, and tried to hurt the receptionist. He did all that just because he wanted me to quit, and he did it because he didn't like that I made more money than him. No, that's a lie. Kyle said you quit on your own. He said you quit without consulting him and became a full-time housewife. Ah,、oh, so that's why. That's why you were so hard on me. That makes sense. Well, we were both cheated by that scumbag, weren't we? For two years. That's funny, isn't it? Well, it must have been bad parenting to raise a man like that. I'd like to see his parents' faces. Oh, you can look into a mirror, Tracy. I can't believe Kyle was lying. Oh my! Well, that's why you don't have to worry about me. 
I make at least four times as much as that guy, and my new house is comfortable, especially without that nasty money-eating insect in sight. And I don't have to deal with an outdated crazy woman as well. It's nice to be able to do my job with dignity. It makes me feel like a fool for having to hide working for a man like that. Why didn't I get divorced earlier in the first place? I guess my brain was frozen at that time. I regret the wasteful thing I did. Well, that's all right. It's over now. Well then, I'll be fine. Farewell, Tracy. Wait a second. If that's the case, fine. You can come back. I'll let you and Kyle get back together. What? Did you hear what I said? Are you deaf or something? Who would get back together with that guy? That alcoholic, gambler, moneyless, brainless man with a brain in his lower half. It was you who kicked me out in the first place, and now you say I'll let you get back together with him. Who do you think you are? Because we are in a difficult situation right now, we don't have a new wife or a grandchild, and we're charged money. I have no money. I don't even have enough money to buy food for today, and Kyle is depressed. So what? You think I would help you? Kyle and I are divorced, and we're complete strangers. I know that, but you know, we were once a family. Don't you think you want to help us out of the goodness of your heart? You want me to support my ex-husband who cheated on me and my ex-mother-in-law who tolerated it? Please put an end to your nonsense. If I was that good-hearted, I'd be showcasing a museum. I will never help ungrateful people like you. I refuse to help. I don't want to have anything to do with you people ever again. No, wait! I'm in real, real trouble. Help me! Please help me! I can apologize for whatever I did in the past. Kyle and I will both apologize sincerely. Help! Your apology is worth nothing to me, you know. Even if you apologize, my precious time and money won't come back. I do want to charge you the money I spent. But I don't feel like tormenting already poor people, so that's fine. You guys should blame your own stupidity. Well then, take care. After texting with Tracy, Kyle called me as well. He was constantly whining and bothering me, so I blocked his call. Those people kicked me out, and only three days later, they depend on me for help. I can't help but laugh at how fast they've fallen from grace. Actually, I was the one who contacted the partners of Kyle's old girlfriends. That's how I put Kyle in a tight spot. Later, it seems that Tracy borrowed money from a loan shark, and paid the compensation. Kyle's gambling addiction and womanizing never went away, and they live hand to mouth. Finally. He tried to flee at night to escape from debt collectors, but he was easily caught and taken away by scary people. He's a really stupid guy who don't repent until the end. As for me, I have settled down in my new residence, stopped working remotely, and returned to office to work. I am working hard just for myself. On my days off, I like to hang out with friends and go on short trips. I want to enjoy myself to the fullest after two years of putting up with so much. Hi, Caitlin. It's been a while. How have you been? Oh, Marina, long time no see. How are you doing? Actually, I need to talk to you about something. Do you have time now? I'm okay, but what's the matter? Guess what? I'm pregnant. Oh really? Congratulations! I'm so happy for you. Thank you so much. I told my mom earlier, but you were working and weren't there. I thought I'd text you instead. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. It's okay. It was a little awkward to tell in person. What? Why? Because 
You and Jade have been married for five years, right? And you still don't have children. I was worried that you might be infertile. So, if you heard that I'm pregnant, I thought you might feel bad. Not at all. We just haven't thought about having children yet. It's not something you need to worry about, so it's okay. Oh, okay. I thought there was something wrong. I was worried about you. I'm busy with work. It's not easy. Oh, well. But Jade said Caitlin is always working. I should be the first one to give our parents a grandchild as the oldest brother, you know? Oh, did he say so? Well, I can't understand that feeling. It's good to earn money, but if you work too much, you'll lose your attractiveness as a woman. Oh, yeah, I guess so. I'll be careful. My mother and brother? They're so happy that we're having a baby. I have nothing to do even if I stay home alone. So, I'll come over again sometimes. Let's chat again. Of course. Okay, be careful when you come. I will. I'll see you again. See you later. Caitlin, can you get some fries on the way home? From McDonald's. Yeah, sure. That's fine, but are you coming over today too? Yes, I am. My husband said he's going to be late due to work, so I thought I'd stay here tonight. Oh, I see. I don't know what came over me, but I've been craving for fries a lot since I got pregnant. I wonder if that's a sign that I'm pregnant. I guess so. There seems to be a lot of people who want fries in their pregnancy. How do you know that, Caitlin? You've never been pregnant. Since you got pregnant, you started coming here often, right? I did some research what you might want to eat and what you shouldn't. Really? That's so sweet. I thought you were looking into it just in case you got pregnant. It's not like that. Just in case, to be sure. I want fries and strawberries. I guess it depends on the person. Jade went to buy some for my lunch today, but I want to eat them again. What? Jade, was he home today? Yes, he was. Yesterday, I told him I was coming over, so he said he'd give me a ride. He took a day off from work. Oh, really? My big brother, he's so overprotective. Mom took advantage of it. She's really worried about me, too. Well, good to hear that. My mother-in-law doesn't worry about me much. I mean, she's rather nagging. And my husband is never home from work. So, I'd rather stay here. Well, it's your parents' house. It's cozy, right? Oh, I want to have a baby here. My mom and brother are also here. Oh, and it would be good for you too, Caitlin. What? For me? Because you might get pregnant in the future, right? So, if my baby is at home, you can practice for when your own child is born. I can't practice with someone else's child. It would help me too, and everyone can see my baby. Isn't that killing two birds with one stone? Maybe not two birds, but three. Are you really going to have the baby back home? Probably. I haven't decided yet. But I think it's going to be difficult at this house. We have a lot of stuff. Your room hasn't changed, but it's not an environment good to raise a child, right? Well, we'll discuss about it. I'm sure Jade and the others will agree with me. Well, I'll have a little talk with my mom. Oh, and don't forget my fries. Hey, about yesterday, are you really going to accept Marina's home birth? Oh, yeah. It's okay, right? It's her family house. Is there a problem? Well, yeah, but where is she going to raise a child in this house? There's no room to sleep in. Marina said she'd take care of that herself. I'm sure she'll be fine. You know... 
If she's going to raise a child in this house, we won't be able to live like we used to. What? Why not? A baby would cry at night. The fact of having two more people means that the burden of house chores will also increase. That's your job. I think it'll be good to have her and the baby here. Having kids at home will definitely be comforting. We don't have kids. So, you can take care of Marina's kids. I'm also looking forward to having a niece or a nephew. That's not the point. Then, will you have our baby, Caitlin? We're not in a situation where we can do that, right? If we had a baby now, we'd go bankrupt. Yeah, okay, okay. I won't talk about money. You're always avoiding things you don't want to talk about. That's what you did yesterday. You didn't even listen to me. And you three were talking about Marina coming back here. Are you thinking about our life here as well? It doesn't matter. It's our house. You don't have to put it that way. It's mine and Marina's family house. It's under mom's name. Technically, It's our house. Yeah, that's what you mean. Right, it's not my house. Hey, don't be salty. Marina wants to come home. You can't say no to that. Mom and I'd be happy too. Who's going to clean the house? What about Marina's meals? Well, that'll be your job. You are the one doing the housework. And you won't listen to my opinion? What do you mean? Marina wants to come back home. You want me to refuse her request? I'm telling you to think about a better environment for raising a child. Do you really think it's good for the sake of Marina and her baby? Of course I do. What the hell? Just because you make more money than me, you're acting like a big jerk. Whose house do you think you're living in? It's my house, so I decide. Oh, yeah. You're going to say things like that. I see. What the? No, nothing. You can do whatever you want from now on. Well, then, bye. Huh? Hey, wait. What do you mean? Caitlin? Caitlin? Did you get my packages? Please bring it into your room. What? Wait a minute. Why did you send some packages? We talked about it the other day. Did you forget? I'm going back home. No, I remember that. But you're still like five months pregnant, right? Isn't it okay even if I'm five months pregnant? I don't have a job and there's nothing to do at home. Besides, my mother in law comes over often and she's so annoying. Isn't that because she's worried about you? It's nice that she worries about me, but she's always nagging me. It's really stressful to have her come over so often. I think it's bad for the baby. So, I thought it would be better for me to come over early, meaning as shelter as well. But, Which room are you going to live in? Oh, come on. Your room, of course. What? My mom and brother. They both said it'll be fine. Huh? Then where shall I be? Caitlin, you are working, so I'm guessing you have some money. Until about three months after the birth, rent somewhere else or go back to your parents' house. That's what I was thinking. No, wait, that's too sudden. There's no way I can wait. The package has already arrived. This is already decided. There's no way I can suddenly rent a house. Even if I go back to my parents' house in the first place, it takes two hours from here. There's no way I can go home, right? So? That's none of my business. I've already decided. Oh, yeah. You all decided together. Yes, we did. It was a family decision. I'm going to have the baby back home, 
so you have to leave. Yeah, okay. Then, with pleasure. Huh? Why are you happy to be kicked out of where you live? It creeps me out. If you're going to leave, don't come back for six months. I'll be living here. Yeah, okay. I'm not coming back to this house for the rest of my life. Don't worry. Huh? What does that mean? Hey, wait! Answer me! Hey! What's going on? All the electricity and water in this house has stopped. Caitlin, you must have done something. I can't believe it! Huh? I didn't do anything in particular. That can't be possible. Both my brother and mom say they don't know what's going on. It can only be because of you. Whoa, neither of them have told you anything yet. They haven't told me what? I've been paying all the rent and utilities for the house. I just got behind on the payments, so the supply was cut off. It's that simple, right? What? What's that? What do you mean? I don't live in the house. I don't have to pay for it. There's no one who can pay it in the first place. What? Jane didn't say anything. Of course he didn't. Quitting his job and have his wife to support him? What? Jane quit his job? Yeah, about six months ago, I think. He quit his job on his own without consulting me or anything. He was working as a temp at first, but... He didn't like that I was making so much money. He tended to take days off often. He's been home for the past two months. You can't be serious. Every time you came home, he was home too. Didn't you ever wonder why? I thought he was just taking days off of work every time. Of course not. Your thoughts are so optimistic. Your mother and Jade... Why they were able to live in that house without any inconvenience. It was all thanks to me. Wait a minute. But there's no way the electricity would have been cut off so soon. Oh, well, yeah. That's because I stopped it. What? What have you done? Because paying the electricity bill for a house I don't live in? That's ridiculous, right? I'm the one paying it. It was in my name. I cancelled it. But we live here. So? So? Your own husband and mother-in-law live there. How could you do that? He's not my husband anymore. That bum. Huh? What are you saying? A while after he quit his job, he got angry when I told him to work. He said... I'll divorce you if you complain anymore. He handed me the divorce form. What? Did he? Yeah. So, I kept the divorce form in a safe place. I submitted it when I left that home. Huh? What have you done? Because he told me to leave. Seems like I don't belong in that family of yours, right? They treat me like an ATM. And a housekeeper. What's the point of being in that house? I don't even have a hobby to support a bum. Wait a minute. About that, do Jade and Mom know? I don't think they know. You're the first one I told this. What? You can't just fall for divorce without telling Jade and Mom. That's not allowed. Go withdraw it right now. I have no intention to have them allow it. I don't need their permission. I was the one who was handed the signed divorce form, so that means he wanted a divorce, right? But if you divorce Jade, what will happen to our house? I don't know. For now, just call the electricity and water company, and then the gas company. The gas company needs to come in person so you'd better call them as soon as possible. And if you don't pay the rent, you'll be evicted. That's not what I meant. 
Oh, but you have to take care of the unpaid money properly, or they might not restore it. What? I guess they don't have any money left. I used to transfer the money at the end of every month. Today is the 27th, right? They would have ran out of money by now, and I'm not transferring any money from now on. This will be tough. Wait a minute! Oh, by the way, I've already contacted your husband. I heard he was against the homework. You shouldn't come without permission. What? What do you think you're doing? I told him you came back home and kicked me out. He kept apologizing to me. I felt sorry for him. Hey, what did you do? I heard you don't like his parents because they're both educators and strict. That's not very nice of you. They've been so nice to you, but you ran away. It's none of your business. Don't talk of things you don't know about. I told them everything, including the bad environment of this house. He said he'll pick you up on his next day off. What? Is he coming? I wonder if you'll be able to survive until then. All lifelines are down. Marina, you still have your in laws. They'll be able to help you, right? Hey, that's enough! That's my line. You've been treating me like a slave. And in the end, you kick me out to have birth at home? Isn't that a bit harsh? I'm so offended. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Hey, you can come back. What? Why? Because without you, I can't live in this house. You mean you want me to pay for your living expenses, right? No, that's not what I mean. Then what does it mean? I got in the way of you, right? Once you got pregnant, you started nagging me. You did whatever you please whenever you came back. No, that. I think I told you before. It's not that I couldn't have children. I didn't. If you look at the environment, you can see why, right? A husband who doesn't work. A mother in law who doesn't do housework. You don't want to have a child under those circumstances. A child will be unhappy, don't you think? Hey, how can you come back? They'll take me back home if you don't do anything. Wouldn't it be better for the baby if you went home? You'll be able to make a living. Well, your husband seems pretty angry, though. What? You're bothering people. If you went back home without permission, of course he'd be angry. You have a child of his in your belly, and you're in an environment where your life is in jeopardy. He wouldn't be happy about it. Wait a minute. Hey, please, please come back. Then I can have my baby here. No, did you hear what I said? We're divorced, and that house is not mine. Why don't you get your favorite brother to work and pay for it? Well, I don't know how many days it would take. Maybe he could get a day job or something and make ends meet for now. Hey, I'm sorry. It's my fault. It's all too late, isn't it? Can you tell them that? Thank you for everything you've done for me. Oh my god! Are you serious? Wait, please come back! In the beginning, I received many apologies from my mother in law and ex husband, saying, I want you to come back. I'm sorry. However, after a while, they changed their attitude. They texted me things like, Come back immediately or pay the money. When I replied, if you persist any longer, I will consult the police. They stopped contacting me. In the end, I heard they couldn't pay the rent. My mother in law's brother allowed them to stay at his house for a while, but it's only for a month, 
so they are desperately looking for a job. Marina was picked up by her husband right away. Marina's parents-in-law, who had been living separately within a short distance, decided to live together until three months after the birth. I moved to a place near my office, and I'm finally free from everything. I am finally living a fulfilled life. Missed call. Layla, pick up your phone. I really need to ask you something. Hi. Didn't I ask you not to call me? Don't be silly. Since you started working, you haven't come home at all. You don't even text me. Why have you been ignoring me? I didn't have anything to talk about. It's fun to talk with my friends, but not with you. Don't be so sassy. Anyway, what's up? Tell me what you want quickly. Let me get straight to the point here. Are you getting married? Oh, where did you hear that? I heard it from your old classmate Judy's mom. I ran into her at the supermarket the other day, and she said, "I heard Layla is getting married. Congratulations!" It was absolutely shocking, sweetie. Huh. <sighs> I was trying to keep it a secret. Damn it! Did you really not want me to find out? I'm your mother. It's ridiculous you didn't want your own mother to know that you are getting married. It's none of your business. I'm the one getting married. Who I tell is totally up to me. Why do I have to tell you when I don't want to? What's wrong with you? Why are you treating me like this? Don't you think it's a little bit odd that the parents don't know when their own child is getting married? Just to let you know, Dad knows all about it. No, are you serious? Yeah, I texted him on the day my fiance and I set the wedding date, and I asked him not to tell you. Why? Why wouldn't your father tell me any of this? I just told you. I asked him not to tell you because I don't want you to come to the wedding. You're not invited. Why is that? How come you don't want your own mother showing up? Don't give me this your own mother crap again. You're so annoying. I get to decide if you're my mother or not. Since I don't consider you my mother, you don't get invited. That's all there is to it. At this moment. I'm fine, only having Dad there. Unbelievable. Anyway, that's it. I don't want any gifts from you. I'd rather you not even think about my big day. See ya, Layla. Wait. Missed call. Layla. A few days later, Layla, can we talk about your wedding, please? No, what? Didn't I tell you? Not to get involved? What part of our conversation didn't you get? I've been thinking about it a lot since then. I know you don't love me, but I love you. You're my daughter. This is all so upsetting. Not being invited to your wedding. So what? Are you asking me to invite you? Yes. I want to be there as a mother. To spend the happy occasion with you and meet your husband and his parents too. You don't need to do that. First of all, you and Dad don't get along. Even Dad can't stand hanging out with you. Unfortunately, that's true. But for your big day, at least we can pretend to be a nice couple. We won't embarrass you. I promise. You say that, but. Dad said, "You don't have to invite Mom if you don't want to." What? He said that? Yeah, and I said okay. I'd much rather have Dad there than you, anyway. You've always been more like a housekeeper than a mother to me. Housekeeper? I am your mother. How can you say that? I'm not looking for any special attention from you. I'm thankful you had me. But that's it. I especially hate it when you interfere in my private life. Interfere? I've been worried about you living alone. What's wrong with that? 
You've been sending me annoying texts every week. The only thing I like about you is that you send me money every once in a while. Ha <laughs> ha. Not even Dad can deal with all of your anxiety issues. Did you know that? I know he doesn't love me in that way anymore, but your father and I decided to stay together until you got married. So please, please invite me to your wedding. Stop it! Your persistence is annoying. It's really bothering me. I'm getting married, so now you can get divorced. That's too cruel, Layla. Can I go now? I've got things to do. I'll be happy as long as Dad shows up. Bye. A few hours later. Hey, Maria. I heard you've been texting Layla a lot recently. Liam. Why didn't you tell me about her wedding? I'm her mother. There was nothing I could do about it. She asked me not to tell you. She doesn't want you there. What could I do? I don't understand why she said that. Well, she's the bride. She and her husband get to decide, right? It's best to respect her wishes. Why don't you just forget about it? Why am I being treated like this? Give me a break. Why don't you accept her decisions? I'm trying hard to respect whatever she decides, but I want to be there as her mother. I raised her with lots of love, and I'm not invited? That's not fair. Stop. Just stop. What can I do? It's her decision. I don't even want to be there as a couple. For all our sakes, please don't come. Do you really know what you're saying? What the hell is wrong with you? How dare you even say something like that to me? I know neither of you love me. I'm not stupid, but I just want to see her happy on her wedding day. Fine, all right. Do you really understand how I feel? Can you talk to her for me? Well, I know what you're saying, but there's one condition. Condition? What is it? I'll talk Layla into inviting you if you promise we'll get divorced before the wedding. What? Divorce? Are you kidding me? Maria, isn't it about time? Layla's getting married. Our parenting job is over. We should go on on our separate paths now. We don't need to kid ourselves about being a couple anymore. I didn't see that coming. What kind of condition is that? Just to attend the ceremony? I can't believe this. What? You don't agree? If you don't accept this, you won't get invited. How simple is that? Oh, whatever. It's all up to you now. Fine. I will accept the condition. Let's get divorced. Please ask Leda to invite me. Okay, I will. Since we agree about the divorce, we are not going to hire Laura, right? We'll sign all the divorce papers and then file them in court. Let's get it done ASAP. Okay, fine. I'll let Leila know about this. Then, see you later. On the wedding day, missed call. Liam, what the hell is going on? Oh, Maria, what's your problem? What happened? Don't tell me you didn't notice. What is going on? Why is there a lady sitting on my seat? Oh, you actually showed up? I didn't think you'd come for real. You said I could attend, didn't you? Why is there a complete stranger in my spot? Please explain. I guess I didn't introduce her to you. That's my new wife. Leila thinks she's great. You're not invited to our family events anymore. You're such a jackass. Ooh, did you just call me a jackass? You have a lot of guts insulting your husband like that. Huh? Husband? What the hell are you talking about? We're divorced. Oh, yeah, that's right. Still, 
That's no reason to speak to me like that. Just because you didn't get a seat. You're such a whiner. Whiner? You wanted the divorce, remember? You not only didn't offer me a seat, but also had your new wife sit next to you. You've gone too far. What can I say? Leda couldn't stand the thought of you coming. She said she'd rather invite her new mom than you. I respected her choice. Her new mother? So you cheated on me when we were married, and Leila knew about it. On top of that, both of you hid it from me. Is that right? Cheating? You and I didn't love each other anymore. It's none of your business who I had a relationship with. Our marriage life was over. You can't call me unfaithful. But we were technically married. When we were married legally, you had another woman on the side. It's called cheating. Don't you know that? Shut up. Get out of my sight. You don't belong here. Layla won't be happy to see you. It's her big day and you want to ruin it? Fine. I get it. I'm leaving. Excellent. You finally understand the situation. This place is not for you. Just leave. Bye. I know I should leave. I'm so disappointed with you both. I wish you all the best with your new wife. And I hope Layla will have a nice wedding. Thanks. We're done, Maria. Please don't call me. Bye. 30 minutes later. Hi, Mom. So, I hear you and Dad are divorced. I guess you're not my mother anymore. What? Oh my god, you sound so sulky. Is it really because you are not invited? You're old enough to deal with your emotions, are you not? <laughs> Is that all you wanted to say? As you wished, I left. Aren't you satisfied? Oh, so you did leave. Oh, Dad, he's mean. He got you to leave, huh? We both came up with the idea, but he actually went through with it. Whoa. I see. You guys came up with a plan to get rid of me. You really didn't want me to be there. Yeah, I told you so. I no longer consider you my mother. You don't need to care about me any longer. My new mother is so nice to me, unlike you. You're no longer a part of my life anymore. Thank you for being our housekeeper for all those years. I'll be fine with my new family for sure, and I'm happy to have them here now on my special day. I hope you'll have a nice wedding in the future. What? Our ceremony is going to start now. You should worry more about yourself since you're all alone now. You were my daughter. I didn't plan for this to happen, but I'm not a good liar. Sorry. What's going on? I'm not following you. I guess you didn't notice your mother-in-law-to-be is not there. What? What do you mean? What was your fiancé's name? Peter. It's Peter, right? His name is Peter Goldberg, isn't it? Why do you know his name? I'm pretty sure I didn't tell you. Believe me, it was a huge surprise to me too. When I got to the hall, I ran into a very close former colleague of mine. Guess what? She's going to be your mother-in-law. Huh? Wait, wait, wait! Did you just say Peter's mom is your former colleague? Yes. We used to work together. She quit her job a few years ago, but we kept in touch. She told me her son would marry sometime soon, but I never imagined her son to be your future husband. No way! What are the odds? Tell me about it. When I was about to leave, she saw me and I told her everything. She was horrified and said she'd walk out with me. What? Did she already leave? Yes, she's with me. We're having lunch at a nice cafe right now. I'm so happy to be spending time with her like this again. In a way, you made it happen. Thanks. Hold on. This is not good. Mom, please bring her back here. 
she's not going back. She said she would never accept you as a daughter in law. She's already texted her husband and son about how she feels about you. Huh? How could you do that to me? If my wedding is ruined, it's all your fault. Oh, well, it's not my problem. You deserve all of this, don't you think? It'll be good for the groom to know who you really are. That's not good at all. Wait! Oh my god! Peter just texted me and wants to cancel the wedding! He and his dad are leaving now! Mom, are you listening to me? What should I do? Missed call. Hey! Do something for me! Are you still there? Mom! After the call, Peter and his father left the hall, and the wedding was canceled. The whole story spread like a wildfire. And the guests were put off by it. All the guests went home without leaving their wedding gifts. As it was too late to cancel, Layla and her father had to pay for the entire wedding at the end. And I'm thinking about demanding a lemony from my ex husband. Hey, Kathy, don't slack off on your chores just because you're pregnant. Hey, where the hell are you? Where's my dinner? The bath isn't ready yet. I'm sorry, Rob. I got an upset stomach in the middle of grocery shopping. So, I was resting at Jane's place for a while. Huh? At your sister Jane's? You know, Jane lives alone in the condo we pass on the way to the supermarket, right? Yeah. You're spoiled because your relatives live so close by. Dealing with the both of you without your parents can be a bit of a pain in the ass, though. Why do you talk like that? Jane is my only family member left. I told you that before we got married. You're so mean. Whatever. Just come home. I'm hungry, and I want to take a bath. And our clothes are still hanging outside. You're a housewife. Don't be so lazy. Come home right now. Hey, Rob. Are you coming home late? Huh? What? I'm nine months pregnant, and the due date is just around the corner. You know that, right? You can come home a little earlier, can't you? And? You can't use that as an excuse to skip out on the housework. I shouldn't push myself for my baby. At least you could be more responsible for yourself. Huh, <laughs> there you go again. Well, I don't want to eat looking at your sulky face. I'll go eat somewhere else. I'm off tomorrow, so I might as well call my buddies for drinks. You wouldn't. You don't need to cook for me, so you can have some time for yourself. <laughs> Wait a second. We don't know when exactly I'll give birth. I've asked you to have the car ready to go at any moment. Can you please not drink for a while? I can't promise. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna drink tonight. Rob! How are you doing, sis? Oh, Jane, I'm fine, I guess. I'm sorry I suddenly stopped by the other day. I felt exhausted after shopping and thought your place was the nearest spot to rest for a bit. Don't worry about it. You have my key, so you can come here anytime, even when I'm not here. Thank you. By the way, what the hell is wrong with your husband? Does he always treat you like that? Is he a tomorrow I'm off, so I'm getting hammered tonight kind of guy? Yep. Call me if you need help. Thank you. Listen, why don't you get a divorce? Hmm. How can I say this? I think he's the type of guy who shouldn't be a father. He already acts like that. That means he probably won't take care of the baby. Actually... Divorce has crossed my mind. Plus, Rob has been acting a bit suspiciously lately. Oh, that thing you were talking about the other day. Regardless, you should divorce him. I'll support you. 
Jane, you have to make the final decision. But don't forget, I'm on your side. We are the only family we have left, so don't hesitate to call on me, okay? Thank you. I'll let you know. So annoying! My water broke. Huh? Where did it happen? In the living room. That's nasty. Clean it before you go to the hospital. I don't have time for this. Please come home. I need a ride. Nope, I can't do that. Why not? My buddy said his wife's water broke in their car, and it was a mess. Not in my car. No way. <laughs> don't you understand what's really going on? Huh? <laughs> Water breaking is what you call it when a pregnant woman accidentally pees her pants, right? <laughs> Basically, some pregnant women can't hold it in until they get on the delivery table. They're not tough. You're one of them. I kinda thought your water might break in the most unlikely place. And it happened in the living room. I knew it. You'd probably get the seat dirty. So I'm not gonna let you use my lovely ride. I can't stand a mess. You'll have to give birth by yourself. By the way, I'm going on a vacation overseas for the next five days. Anyway, gotta go. Boarding the plane now. See you later. Hey, Kathy. I just got off the plane. Ugh. My suitcase with the souvenirs is so heavy. Dragging the bag is such a hassle. By the way, your water broke. You've had a baby, right? So you can drive, right? Hi, it's Jane. It's been a while. Oh. Since you refused to give me your number, I'm riding on my sister's line. Oh, hi, Jane. Hey, why are you giving me a hard time? Pardon me? I know you're the only family member my wife has left after your parents died. But she's my wife. Don't you think you're spoiling her by living so close to our house? I don't quite understand what you're intending to say. I've been living there since I was in university. Really? When my sister was single, she bought the condo. And then you moved in there. Remember that? You make no sense. Really? Ah, right. But it's true that your living so close has made her lazy. What makes you think she's spoiled? She stopped by your place on her way home from the supermarket. I should be her first priority. She didn't prepare dinner or the bath before I got home. Aren't you to blame for trying to make your pregnant wife do all the housework in the first place? See? That's it. That's what I was talking about. You're a bad influence when it comes to slacking off, and it's really bothering me. Why don't you move out of this neighborhood? Well, we'll talk about it later. Let's get down to business. Business? You said you just got off the plane, right? What? Oh, I get it. You want me to show up at the hospital for Kathy, right? Fine. I don't mind going. In general, husbands visit their wives after delivery. Um, which hospital did she give birth at? Since I'm back, I'm gonna go see her. You don't even know which hospital my sister went to? She's the one who gave birth, not me. I see. Where am I supposed to go? Don't come, you idiot. What? Never mind. You'll make it for the funeral. What do you mean? The funeral? It's a private funeral at the memorial hall located on 1st Street to be held at 1 p.m. Hold on. No way! Are you serious? 
In case you don't know where it is, I'll give you the address. You have to leave right away. Oh-ho! Guess I inherit all her assets now. Inherit? What? As for the funeral, I'll leave the chief mourner and the other mothers to you. When it comes to the inheritance, get in touch with me. I'm gonna have more fun, and then I'm going home. See ya! Hey, Jane. You'll still have Kathy's phone, right? I can't open the door to my place. Any idea what's going on? Hey, how come my daddy's here? He just showed up out of the blue and threw me into his car. Hi. Is this Jane? Yeah. When I couldn't open the door, my dad grabbed me by the neck and tossed me in the car. I know. Right after I heard from you, I messaged your father. It sounds like he went there right away to deal with you. What are you talking about? It'll be the nuisance if you're to hang out in front of the property for too long. It has already been sold. Sold? Who gave you the permission to sell the house? Even as my wife's sister, there are things you can and can't do. Don't you know that? Your belongings have been sent to your parents' house, so don't worry. I don't care about my belongings. I'm Kathy's husband. I'm supposed to get this condo. It's mine. And you've sold it? Stay out of it. Um, what do you think has been going on around here these past few days? What do you mean? You thought you'd get everything of Cassie's if something happened to her, right? Makes sense, doesn't it? But you're way off. And it's inappropriate to speak like that, don't you think? Huh? Why is it inappropriate? My sister is still alive. What? When her water broke, your mother happened to come by to check on her, and she called an ambulance. Unexpectedly, she had a difficult delivery, so she had to stay in the hospital a bit longer. Both your wife and baby are fine. Really? Hold on a second. Didn't you say we had a funeral to go to the other day? Yes, for your grandmother. Oh my god. She'd been in the nursing home for a long time. I heard she was 103 years old. Oh. I'm pretty sure your parents texted to you while you're traveling. Texted? They couldn't get a hold of you, so they texted you. You could have gone to the funeral. You didn't go after all, did you? Seriously? Don't tell me you haven't read the message yet. I thought it was from Kathy, her usual persistent calls. I assumed my parents were calling me for Kathy. How selfish! First of all, you traveled overseas with your lover, didn't you? What? Why? We've already looked into the matter. My sister knew you were cheating on her and asked me for advice. I was working on the case for her. We have all the evidence. What the... what the hell? Well, I'm busted. You got me. You got that right. While you're having your flying abroad, my sister gave birth, your grandmother's funeral was held, and now you're about to lose everything. Pardon? Regarding your inheritance that you're expecting somehow, my sister and I have both renounced our inheritance. Huh? How come? Your parents were wealthy. They must have had some assets. What a waste! That's how you feel. Did you marry my sister for her money? Is that bad? Let me tell you something. My parents that came from their vanity. Oh my god! My parents were really bad with money. In other words, it's a negative legacy. All they left for us was debt. It was a smart thing to give up our rights to inherit. 
I can't believe it. Anyway, my sister is demanding alimony and child support from you. What? Not only that, your lover didn't know you are married. In that case, you should expect some kind of lawsuit from her as well. No way! Another thing is that you've spent some of my sister's money she saved before marriage. You'll have to pay it back for sure. Hey, hey, wait! Kathy should explain things to me in person. It's not fair that Kathy makes you do everything and she hides from me. Just in case, I want to remind you of something. I'm a lawyer. Huh? I've officially been retained as my sister's lawyer to handle this matter. Oh, yeah. Damn it. We've been communicating online about the whole thing. But the official procedure is being handled separately. In any event, I'll be visiting your parents' home as legal counsel sometime soon. See you then. Are you serious? The total amount of the claim against my husband is easily over $100,000. On top of that, his lover who didn't know he was married has also made a claim. Of course, I've claimed the total amount in one payment. When my husband was told the total amount, he cried so loudly that the whole neighborhood could hear. And then, his parents refused to help him and they broke off with him. I'm not sure why, but apparently he got fired from his job. His next employer provided accommodations for him to help him pay off his debt. I also hear he tried to skip out on his debt and now he's disappeared. And he's gone missing ever since. So, I'm already a single mother. I get support from my in-laws as well as my sister. Thanks to their help, I have a good and healthy life with my child today. Dad, can we talk? Hi, Mary. Travis and I are driving up there next weekend. We could not get the airplane tickets. Are you okay with car sickness? You're like me. You always get car sick. I should take an anti-sickness medicine, then fall asleep with the seat down. I should be okay. I see. So, when we get there, I have to figure out where to park the car. Oh, okay. I'll ask my neighbor to let you park in a spot. Thanks. I'll let Travis know. Please say hi to him. I should get my driver's license soon. It's definitely more convenient. Maybe you don't get sick if you're driving. I see. Well, I'll think about it later. I'll see you next week when I go home. I'll be waiting for you. We will have a feast. Mary? It's me. Your dad. You're coming home today, right? It's already been an hour since you said you arrive. Mary? Is everything okay with you guys? If you see this, please reply. I will text Travis now. Travis, are you guys okay? You might be driving, but it would be great if you could reply. Hi, Mike. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. I'm not driving right now. What's going on? I tried to teach Mary, but she didn't reply. So I thought I'd text you. Has she yet to arrive there? Nope. Where is she? I dropped her off at the airport. Airport? She told me you guys were driving. I thought you were driving. Mary doesn't have a driver's license and... Oh. I've got some urgent business. 
I had to use the car, so she decided to fly there. I thought you had already heard from her. I'm sorry I didn't notice. No, I'm sorry I didn't know. So that's what happened. Well, please let me know if you hear from her. If I hear from her, I'll let you know. Right. Okay. I found where Mary is. She got into an accident in Seattle and was taken to the hospital by ambulance. I'm on my way there right now.、But、why Seattle? It's a long way from your place. It's also in the wrong direction from Portland. Anyway, my wife and I are heading to Seattle now. Please head there as soon as you get this message. Dad, I'm safe. Mary. Dad, you're heading this way now, right? Oh, I'm driving with Mom right now, but your life is not in danger, right? Yeah, somehow, but I've broken my leg, so I'll need to stay in the hospital. But the driver of the other car took the appropriate action. He's treating me with sincerity, so please don't raise your voice when you talk to him. I understand. Anyway, I'm glad you're okay. Well, I better get going. Mary, I want to ask you some questions when I get there. Yeah, I know. I understand. Drive safe, Dad. Travis, I haven't heard from you since then. What's going on? Oh, Mike, how are you? Sorry, I dropped my phone in the water and had to turn it off to dry it out. Have you heard from Mary? How dare you! How dare you! Mike, what is it? All of a sudden, you're having an affair, aren't you? What? You canceled your trip. You've been planning to have an affair with someone else. What? Mary gets carsick quickly, so she takes pills and falls asleep as soon as she gets in the car. You took advantage of that. You drove to Seattle and left Mary on the street. Then you picked up your girlfriend. Mary was left all alone, far away from her destination. I see. How did you get all the information? But I screwed this up. Do you admit what you did? Well. I don't blame you. I am done with Mary, so I dumped her a hundred miles down the road. You found out sooner than I thought, but I took her money away. It's going to be hard to walk home. I'll never forgive you. You are out of line. By the looks of it, you haven't read my test yet. Your texts. I'm already here with Mary. Huh? Why? How could you find her? I took her phone away. You thought you'd taken all means of communication. Is that what you're trying to say? Well, yes. This was a real blessing, though. The one you took was her old phone, huh? Just the other day, she got a new one. She kept her old one. You mean that's the one I smashed? Yeah, go check your text. Then we'll talk. Mary was in an accident at that place. I thought you found out so fast. That's what happened. She's in the hospital. I wanted to buy some time while she was gone. Are you worried about your affair more than about your wife's injuries? That's pretty rotten. 
I'm sorry, but my love for her has cooled off. It can't be helped now. But that doesn't mean you should leave her in the middle of the city. Yes, yes, yes. I'm sorry. What's up with your attitude? You don't know where I am. What if I told you I do? Huh? You're at a resort hotel with a woman. How do you know? The bag you took from Mary has a GPS attached to it. I guess you didn't notice that. A GPS? We got one a while ago for her. She told me that she misplaces her belongings often. Mary seems to like it. Besides, the resort hotel is owned by our relative. Ha!、Huh. You've been here before, haven't you? On your college graduation trip. Do you remember who the organizer of that trip was? Uh, Mary. That's it. Seriously. So, I'm going to your room now. Huh? Your dad's with me. My dad too. I caught him. Wait. You're gonna have to pay for this. Damn. I'm under my father's surveillance because of you. Don't realize what you've done. You guys want your compensation, don't you? Yes, yes, I'll pay you. My girlfriend's father is the president of a big company. He'll pay a fraction of a million dollars. I heard your girlfriend went to the same college Mary went. Yes, that's right. She's rich and famous. I heard that's not true. What? Mary knows her because she was pretty famous. She was famous for lying without hesitation to attract men. Uh, but you know, she always had a lot of money. I'm sure you'll understand if you hear about her job now. Her job? I'm a little afraid to put it into words. I heard she's so much in debt that she has to do that kind of work. Uh, debt? So I guess you have to cover the fees we'll charge. Wait a minute. I don't have that kind of money. Because you went on expensive dates with your girlfriend. Does that mean your wallet and savings are empty? Ah,、uh, please forgive me. Apologize to Mary. Either way, she has no intention of forgiving you. So, um, from now on. Wait for my lawyers to call. Mike. Well then, bye, scumbag. The reason he went to the trouble of leaving Mary behind was Travis's girlfriend's idea. She had a one-sided view of Mary as a rival. As a result, she stole Travis and planned to leave Mary in Seattle. Mary demanded a reasonable amount of compensation from both of them. When Travis's girlfriend learned about what happened to Mary, she was shocked that her prank had gone too far. She quickly accepted the payment and the restraining order. She has been very busy with more work. And Travis, his father threw him into a company run by an acquaintance. And he also took in several part-time jobs. He's now under 24-hour surveillance, working daily to pay off his debts. Thank you for watching. Please rate the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.